Hey guys, welcome back. We're at the, the sixth step of a William Wallace campaign called Forge an Alliance. Let's get into it. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling, so we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct a market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. All right, capture three relics and garrison them in your monastery. Hints. This scenario uses the advanced commands interface, although you do not need to use it. Uh, it provides access to some more powerful ways to control your civilization. If you lose your marks, you can make more when you get to the castle age. Okay. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. The situation is starting to look up. Did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? Yes, I did. You can show only military units or this one relic, right? trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the mini. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. Is this counted as one of the relics? It seems it's close to your town. Okay. An ally has another relic. In English, a cash. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk All right. and right Scottish allies. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. Oh no. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your arm. Good! You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by guess the red the monastery. The red guys have a you know how relic in here. Relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add God gold. Damn, this, this old guy can't keep up with all the things I'm doing here. Go inside and see how his city's doing. Your allies' gate will open automatically for you. Welcome. Where's the relic? For the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Okay. Farms are a good source of food once you've exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built by buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. So I guess there's one relic inside here. Click a villager, then right-click a farm. I hope the sound levels are fine, by the way. They're a little bit loud in my ears, but I hope they're fine for you guys. Um, yeah, I guess we have to uh, get one relic from there. Um, can we bait open the gate in a few village, or do we have to get the castle age? Thinking, well, he's castle age, right? So he has some good units. Let's just go back here and heal. This guy. Send these guys back. Let's see what type of units he has. No upgrades on crossbows, for example. We might be able to bait open the wall and keep it open. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, yellow flyer, can help you fight the enemy. You can also train with your allies. And we have a monk as well, so we can convert. Yeah, let's just try and do this in Fuglage. I guess it should be possible. Some micro. And also, we have the monks, so we can always heal. Now, I want to be able to keep that gate open. In which case, his units must go through it. We have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering their relics. Working on it. Oh no, I'm gonna lose an archer. Or am I? Well, maybe not. Maybe we can keep everything alive. You now have two relics, Garrison. Bring back one more and you'll be victorious. I'm gonna just keep making scouts and men arms and everything. Oh well. I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. What a friendly guy this guy is. Our teammates. He actually had a couple of units. He has no upgrades, for example, so we can just keep pushing in, I guess. I don't know how many units Red has in total. Uh, 
Guess we just go and make four buildings as well. Actually, we're not taking any gold. Do we even have gold around our base? I don't see any gold. Why is my monk down here? Might be gold there to the right or up, up here somewhere. Anyways, I was hoping to bait some units like through the gate so they would keep it open for me. See if I attack it if someone reacts. Didn't make the market to trade, man. Oh, there's a villager. I have an idea here. Once they go to deliver their food, I'm gonna try and send my scout in to keep the gate open. Now we're, f we're ca almost castle age. So, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Oh. Let's see if we can just go and snag the relic like this. Would have been convenient. Actually, let's let's leave another unit. See a, a man at arms under. So our ma oh oh. Uh, there we go. So our scout can go and look, see what's out there, where the relic is. You can have your units move to a spot once they're created by using gather points. Guess we can just run through as long as we don't attack. Oh, there it is. Click set gather point. I thought we could open this. Well, I guess we'll have to just run or run around. Unless it's actually faster to take down this with a gate with a ram, which I'm not sure it is. Since we already took all, our, all these buildings, apparently. Oh, we can't afford a ram anyway. <laughs> Rip the dream. I guess we'll just run around. Yeah, I guess that that's... That's all we need to do. Yeah, it's gonna take too long to take down this. Especially since we're lacking a ram. But still. At least they had some more units this time. But, uh, yeah, Pyrrhus will be able to just run back with this, so we, I guess we just wait for the monk now. You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper okay. right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. Seen it. There you go. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like we have much gold. Do they want us to trade for gold? Is that it? Maybe there's gold down here. I don't know. Yeah, this this path is faster. But we could have done this here as well, but we needed more units. They had too many units, we didn't have anything we could just put under the gate at that point. Now I'm just interested to see if there's actually gold around our base. Well, there is gold here, I guess. It's not too far. Yeah. Rolling down the river. Yeah, we're almost through, guys. Yeah, there's no gold around here. So I guess they, they wanted us to start trading as a part of the mission. We did need that. I guess this is going to grant us the victory here. Let's see. Thank you. Yeah, I have. Hype. We even got an achievement. It says, uh, Champion of the Kells. I don't know if you could see that though. Probably not. Yeah, and again with all these desert, just to fill up the map. Yeah, this was the only gold on the map, I guess. All right, let's see what they say. With the three relics now locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers and knights of our own with which to meet Longshanks. We march south to Falkirk, where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. <laughs> I love the way this guy speaks. Very cool. 
yeah, that's it for uh, Forging Forge Alliance. The next one is going to be the last, last uh, mission in the William Wallace campaign. So yeah, it will probably be coming up tomorrow. Stay tuned for more.